So let's start with the interview. We will start with the criteria and let's start with a few of the questions that you are both thinking about, right? Sure, sure. Tell me about life cycle methods that are presented yet. Also, for functional components, what are the alternatives for these life cycle methods and how do we implement the different life cycle methods that are there using these alternatives for functional components? Can you please mention that? Sure, sure. So, uh, like life cycle methods uh, are, are uh, like uh, when we need to perform uh, any specific ta task, like uh, when our component loads, uh, when it updates, and when it unmounts. So, for the uh, if I we talk about the glass based component, so to for the mounting purpose, uh, we have component did mount. To update, uh, we have component did update, and for the unmounting, uh, we have uh, will component unmount. And uh, if you talk about the functional based components, so we need to use uh, the use effect hook for it. So if uh, we also need to pass the dependency, if the our use effect hook uh, has the empty dependency, so it will work like a component did mount. And if you pass any dependency on it, so it will work at component did update. And if we add the return uh, return keyword uh, inside the use effect, so it will work like a, a unmount. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, can you please type out the syntax uh, for these different states in the chat? Yeah. Mention the details, what you know about the virtual DOM, how it works, what are its advantages compared to using the actual DOM, and how do we propagate any changes made to the virtual DOM to the respective nodes in the actual DOM? Like what is the inter process that's taking place under the hood? React, uh, React has a feature called uh, Virtual DOM. So uh, it makes the copy of the original uh, DOM first, and uh, it also uses the diffing algorithm. The uh, using it, what happens? Like uh, any changes that is uh, made uh, on uh, our uh, node, uh, it compares to the uh, original DOM first. So it will only uh, only uh, render the uh, change thing. So uh, I will give one example. Like um, uh, for the listing, we provide all uh, the keys. Uh, for uh, for the list, so uh, it checks uh, like uh, which key has which element has changed. So as per that, it uh, only uh, it will only update that part. So this is how it works. All right. Uh, I'm sending you a question in the chat box. Please hold on one moment. So yes, I'll send it to you. Now copy this code and copy it to your notes or application. All right. So you can also use an online PS bin, but do not copy it to any ID or React environment. Okay. Sorry. So it needs to be uh, like uh, mm -hmm. in just a basic text editor. Okay, basic text editor. So. Alright, so the code that you see in front of you, this has some certain issues in it, alright? Yeah. So your job is to first find these issues, flag them with comments and describe what the issue is and why is it occurring. And after that, in the next line, below where the issue is, replace it with the correct code that will fix the issue, okay? 
So if you think that there are no more issues, or if you find that no issues are there, mm-hmm. do let me know, and we can move on to the next step. All right? Sure, sure. So, uh, uh, just tell me one thing. Like, do I need to import uh, this huge state uh, and huge uh, state? Uh, or we can do file? that later. We can do that later. That's not a problem right now. Yeah. So, just within this functional component, whatever issues there are, if you think there are any issues, let me know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. So, so first of all, I have noticed this thing like uh, this note. noticed uh, these things and I did fix uh, for here and for uh, can you please navigate to the window yeah uh, it's true it's I think your internet is a bit slow just to let it load up yeah let's see so import the user from here okay uh, I don't think that was optional but that's all right okay and so here is the first fix, second fix, and the third fix. Yes, okay. So the second fix. Yeah. All right, I see. I see. And okay. And what is the third fix? Third fix is the key was missing here from the. All list. right. I see. Replace the original code, those original lines with your fixes and let's copy it over to a link. I'm sending you a link in the chat. Yeah. Which one, by the way? 
Yes, it's visible, but it's a bit slow and I think there's a bit of delay. It's still loading actually. Yeah, all right. So copy the code which you have changed. With all the fixes that you have made, replace all the original lines where you want your fixes to be there. Replace it with the uh, error. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, so here I have uh, pasted it. All right. So can you just test out the code and make sure it's working? Sure, sure. Okay, so there were some issues in the fixes that you have made. Can you figure out what those issues are and then proceed to make the changes? Sure, sir. All right. So actually, I haven't, uh, I didn't check uh, if it has any. Uh, it is true. Only on that case, uh, it will move to the next. Check it again. Oh, at least it's not a function. So now it's working. If I click on the Rosen comma or any. Can you show me? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Alright. Guys, open. So, the time for the interview is up. Our HR team will be in touch with you.